welcome to this Courageous Conversation. A Courageous Conversation helps us to engage in dialogue with people we don't normally speak to, about things we don't normally speak about, or with those we speak to all the time about topics we would rather avoid. Hi, it's Tim O'Laney, and welcome to Courageous Conversations. Uh, there's three things I want to point out to you today in the opening video before you look around the site. One, uh, for those of you, 2009 is a required retraining year uh, for those of you out in California, Massachusetts, places like that, who, where the law requires you to do every two years, do two hours of training for your folks. So that, today, 2009 is a re retraining year. Uh, but also, the Supreme Court just yesterday uh, handed down a new ruling on retaliation and that uh, actually specifically making it illegal to fire or demote someone just because, not that they even made the complaint, but uh, in the investigation, uh, some folks were, you know, of course, during the investigation, people were asked questions about, well, did you see this? Did you see that? What about that? And they honestly answered the question saying, yeah, I saw this, or I noticed that, or here's what it was, even though they specifically weren't the ones who made the complaint. Uh, the Supreme Court has specifically said you cannot fire or demote them, you cannot retaliate against folks just for answering questions about an investigation, even if they aren't the ones who actually raised the complaint. So that's a new uh, expansion of retaliation. Also, as you know, we've been doing a lot of webinars lately because people are always continually asking us for new ways to reach folks with courageous conversations. You know, in other words, especially in these turbulent times, people are looking for how do we get information out to people you know, and help them build their skills because we still need to get the work done, the work we do have, we still need to get it done, we still need to manage our customers' expectations, all those sort of things. We still need to be giving job performance reviews. We still need to be working all within the law. So folks are always asking, well, how do we reach these places in a more cost-effective way? And of course, webinars are an easy way to do that. And so for those of you who have participated or want to participate, let me know and we can talk about how we can get webinar, courageous conversation webinars out to you. Uh, and our webinars, what I do is actually, you, you see me like this uh, on video talking with your folks. So it's not just audio, it's actually video as well. And another thing we've been doing uh, is turning hour-long webinars into podcasts, into, some, into if you have a video uh, iPhone or an iPod or something that can play video, we're actually putting the slides and everything and so you can actually take it with you. You know, as you remember from years ago, the uh, Wall Street Journal had a story called, The Boss Puts the iPod to Work. And it's been being used, of course, for, easily for when you're standing at a piece of machinery and you need instruction on, well, how do I work this piece of machinery? And you know, you've got your iPhone and your iPod right there in front of you. Well, we're actually doing it now with communication skills like Courageous Conversations and finding ways to do it along with the recorded pieces so you can, folks can have it with them and listen to it you know, and even watch the slides uh, as it happens. So just some new things for you to be thinking about, but look around the site, uh, and I hope your 2009 is off to a good start. Uh, but this is Tim Mulvaney, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye now.